Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way to do speed ramping using timer mapping. So what this is, is essentially a way to go from regular speed or fast motion into slow motion or slow motion into fast motion. And in order to do this, let's put our clip on the timeline and we're going to right click our clip and then go to show clip keyframes and turn on time remapping speed. And what that's going to do is allow us to place keyframes that adjust the time and speed of this clip. So you can open up the effects control panel on the left corner and see these effects, or you can use this little diamond button on the track to add or remove keyframes. So if I go over to a portion in this clip that I want to slow down, so let's say right before I kick through this little snow, that's where I want to slow down and have a slow motion effect. So I'll click this diamond here to add a keyframe and then I'll go to the end of that effect where the foot lands. I'll click the diamond again to add another keyframe. And then I have this segment here that I can speed up or slow down just by clicking and dragging on it. So since I shot this clip in 64 frames per second, I can slow it down 50% and get a smooth slow motion clip. I actually have a separate video on shooting in slow motion in camera by setting your frame rate higher. So I'll link that to you guys if you want to check it out. But now essentially, if I play this clip back, it goes normal and then slow mo and then back to normal. But there's a few things you can do with this time remapping option. I can click on the keyframe playhead and I can split it to create a smooth ramp, which ramps the speed from normal to slower more smoothly. At the same point, I can also just delete keyframes. So let's say I wanted to slow it down and never pick back up. I can delete that keyframe and it just stays slow for the remainder of the clip and so on. So you can slow things up, speed things up and switch between the two smoothly using this method. Just remember whenever you apply these adjustments, the clip will adjust in length to reflect your changes. So if you're working within a project, maybe you wanna drag it to its own separate track and then make the adjustments so you don't end up cutting off things on the side. So that's the basics on speed ramping or going into slow or fast motion gradually using time remapping and keyframes. This is just one of the many ways that you can adjust Eclipse speed in Premiere Pro. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for future tutorials and check out my channel for previous videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, then leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Stay tuned for more. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.